Hey everybody, if you're looking for some free uh, apps and sources for mobile TV and mobile movies, uh, here are several uh, items that I've researched and I use and they work pretty good. Now the key is uh, these are all mobile based, so if you have an Apple uh, iPhone or an Android, Samsung, something like that, this is what you're going to want to look at. I'm going to break it into a few categories, but I'm going to stick to just the free providers because there's a lot of other providers of pay sites and upgraded pay services, but just to make it simple, these are all the free basic ones with tons of content. You could watch this stuff forever. Um, break them into a few categories. One is your phone provider. So for instance, I have T-Mobile. So if you look here in the top left, I have an app that connects through T-Mobile and it has various uh, content. So if you have AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever, you look there first and see what kind of app they've got and what kind of content they provide. There's a ton of stuff. Just go through it and it should be should be free with your uh, plan, although most of these apps in general are geared to get you to upgrade to additional services. So they may have some pay applications or parts of it, but try the free stuff first. Uh, first one I recommend on the top row here is Hulu. Now you can get Hulu Plus, which is subscription, but regular Hulu is free. You sign up for an account, and really here you can go through a lot of the affiliated networks uh, like Comedy Central or ABC or uh, uh, NBC, and you can aggregate a lot of these shows into one, uh, one app, which here at Hulu you, you can watch. So that one is probably at the top of my list of free high quality streaming stuff. Now the, the limit there is for the free service they're going to limit you to how many episodes you can watch as far as how far you can go back and it, it gives you a delay sometimes of a week or whatever before you can watch a show. So if you get the upgraded version then you get um, pretty much unlimited access. Crackle is good. It's a little obscure but they have some some major TV shows and also some okay movies. For instance, you can get Seinfeld and some of the major uh, TV episodes through there. Also some movies, which are pretty good. Some of them, uh, a lot of them are obscure, but it's okay content. And again, it's free, but you got to watch some commercials throughout. Um, not, not a big deal. Most of these have ads in the beginning or sometimes in, in the middle throughout the programming. Uh, Snag Films is also another good one that's got some decent movies and some decent programming. In particular, I like the fact that it has a lot of National Geographic and science uh, documentary nature type stuff, which is really cool. So I like that one. So that's that's the top row that, that also covers a lot of movies. Now, the second category is going to be through your cable provider. Now, that assumes you have cable. If you have cable, there are lots of, uh, like Xfinity or Comcast, there are lots of apps through your cable provider that can let you tap into your cable and watch kind of in an on-demand basis. So go ahead and do that on your own. But now if you don't have cable, um, this is where you want to use some of these other apps, which you see here below. There's been a, a recent flood here of uh, a lot of the networks. They're trying to use the, uh, the uh, advertising model to get everybody's eyes on screen. So they're offering a lot of their content for free. As long as you sign up for the app, which of course you have to, uh, if you look when you install it, you, you have to give them access to certain things on your phone, so you want to be careful about that. But most of these don't even require an account, so it's really easy. You just install it and you open the app and you can start watching. Now again, like I said, a lot of it is you only get to watch certain episodes or um, you know, you may be subject to more ads, but they always entice you to try to upgrade or subscribe to uh, a higher level of service so that you can get more um, uh, features and, and uh, more episodes. But anyway, the most of, of them for the basic free subscription, uh, just you can watch stuff for free, which is kind of cool. So you got ABC, A&E, CBS, Discovery. Now this isn't all of them, of course. There's a lot more. But pretty much if you want to watch anything, Think about what station it's on, go look at that station, see if they have an app for that, and you know, see if it requires a subscription or not. Uh, some of them require you to log in through your cable provider. So in other words, you have to have cable to watch through them, and there's only a few I've found so far, and those are the, um, 
the uh, TBS, TNT, and FX, which you see down here. And uh, also, if you have HBO, Showtime, or ESPN, uh, those you have to really go in through your cable provider. But not a big deal. There's plenty of other content here. So another thing I've, I've found also is that NBC and PBS do not have apps for Android yet at this time. This is Android for me, by the way. This is a Samsung. So check, you know, check later because these are constantly being added and evolved, and it's probably a matter of time before they have them on here. We also see Comedy Central, which they didn't have before, but now they do, which is great. Um, another thing I recommend too is, you know, the old standard YouTube is great. Of course, you're watching YouTube now. There's a lot of content there, and IMDb which is the, uh, I think it's International Movie Database. This is a great uh, app to have for looking up movies, TV, actors, all kinds of stuff related to TV and movies. But also it's kind of cool when you're watching, uh, trying to watch shows online. For instance, if you're watching like, uh, you know, per Purses of Interest on, on CBS and you forget where you left off, you can look up that series here and go through all the episode summaries in a lot of cases and so you can read the description of the, the uh, episodes and say okay I left off at at season four you know so that's kind of a neat reference tool I recommend you get and that of course is free so check out all of these and um, among others there's also kids stuff discovery kids Disney a lot of stuff for free so if you have Apple check out the um, you know iOS store or the Play Store if you have Android phone and uh, hope this helps again this is most of it does not require an account or a sign-in and just be careful and make sure that whatever you're gonna watch they're not gonna try to charge you for it now you can do that there's there's tons and tons of pay sites that charge you by episode or by movie or a subscription service per month but there's so much content out there now that these all provide for free that you know, you'd really have to have 24 hours a day to watch to uh, take advantage of all that and run out of stuff to watch. So I hope this helps and uh, like and subscribe. And I'm probably going to do some more for the pay services and more specifically into movies or other content. And uh, good luck and happy surfing. Bye.